Hey everybody, this is Galen. Welcome to Galen's World here in BG. And uh, I've had to change the name of the YouTube channel again uh, to Galen's World here in BG because I found out this morning there's another YouTube channel named Galen's World. So I didn't have to, but I went ahead and did it anyway. So sorry about the confusion or in inconvenience. I know it's complicated, but <laughs> You gotta keep tweaking it till you find the right combination. Uh, this YouTube channel business is all new to me. It's it's growing, uh, nonetheless, slowly but surely. It's inching along. But you know, I'm retired and got plenty of time. And uh, today marks one year since I left uh, Walmart. Uh, we've got two WalMarts here in Bowling Green. And I worked at the Morgantown Road store and I was over there two years. That was my retirement job, full-time retirement job. And I had worked in the pest management industry for 27 years and retired at 59 and a half and wanted something different. And boy, did I get it in <laughs> the retail world. A lot different from uh, pest management nonetheless, but hey, it was a good experience. Met a lot of cool friends, still got a lot of the friends I'm friends with over there now, still associate friends. Let in, met a lot of the customers over there. We shop there daily. A lot of them come in every day, believe it or not. So uh, yeah, and then I decided to go drive a school bus, Warren County Schools thinking I would buy myself more time to be home with my wife because she uh, had some symptoms coming on for a health issue and turned out uh, she did get a diagnosis of a lengthy illness and so I was only able to stay with the Warren County school system eight months driving the school bus. Uh, I wanted a shorter route but then I settled for a, a big route Instead of being gone maybe four or five hours a day, I ended up being gone uh, about 11 hours a day, and that didn't work out good with my wife's symptoms and her illness coming on. So after she was officially diagnosed, and uh, I was able to, uh, to go ahead and abruptly quit. Didn't want to, but they understood because I did have... Uh, documentation from her doctor her neurologist and and really wasn't much they can do about it nor I so I've been home with her six months now so I'm kind of picking up more on the uh, journalism side my background in journalism of course I did a podcast for about four years uh, called the dad rocks podcast in conjunction with the uh, dad rocks Facebook group and we've got about 3,000 members in that group where we just post music videos. No fight, no argument, no BS. Everybody gets along. It all started when COVID hit. When we were, uh, I was on the back backyard deck grilling out and drinking a few cold ones and listening to music and watching videos and reposting them. Found out a couple other uh, Facebook friends from high school were doing the same, so I uh, created this group and it's grown up to 3,000 members. And then we got a, I got a, a restaurant page here in town. It's called the Soaky Restaurant Scene, Southern Kentucky Restaurant Scene. And it's got almost 2,000 members. And of course, I'll repost a lot of uh, things from Facebook, their pages. And, uh, you know, uh, restaurants from Kentucky all over the region, the nation. So, uh oh, we got a bicycle coming. Uh, a person on a bicycle. So I'm going to cross the greenway here. Oh, and by the way, say hello to Mr. Jude. Hello, Mr. Jude. We're on the greenway. Now we're across the street on the sidewalk. But as soon as this guy comes by on the bicycle we're gonna cross back to the greenway <laughs> all right he's gone
I don't think the bicyclist liked the fact that Jude was lunging at him. Kind of gave me a dirty look. Hey, but Jude is a lunger. <laughs> I should have had him trained, but I didn't. But that's okay. I got him good uh, with this leash, nylon leash, and a harness, as you can see. I hold him steady. Oh, there's that dead squirrel, poor fella. Feel sorry for ooh. I can't look. Hope he didn't get hit. <laughs> yeah. Looks like people are avoiding it. Ugh. I don't like roadkill, especially squirrels. I feel sorry for them. Yeah. All right, Mr. Jude, let's head back home. As you can see, the leaves are still not turning yet. Still green. And it's going to get up to, like I said, 82 degrees here this afternoon. And it's going to be sunny all day long. It's going to be hot. Hot again this afternoon. We're still in summer. <laughs> Even though it's fall. Hey, but the good news is next week it's supposed to uh, get down in the 60s. So that'll be nice. I hear a helicopter. There it is. But uh, yeah. Everything's going good. I think we got a situation in America, you know, with this uh, crisis, the uh, natural disasters. You notice with the media now, it's all switched back to Florida after Milton. It's supposed to be category five, but it downgraded to a three. Thank God. Fortunately, wasn't as much death, but a lot of destruction, but I don't know how many deaths, you know, have caused, but, but I don't know, you know, it's a lot of death and destruction in North Carolina and Tennessee from all the flooding, flooding in the mountains. And uh, just send out your thoughts and prayers to these people, everybody affected, where they lost a loved one or, or uh, their homes or businesses. Continue to do that if you can help financially, send money online. And like I said, I would definitely check with the authorities before you head out to one of those areas to help out. Make sure you know what you're doing, you got experience or connected with the group that does. Church organization, disaster relief, search and rescue teams, whatever. But uh, yeah. Anyway, man, it's getting hot already. Doesn't feel like 61, feels hotter, I guess, because I'm in the direct sun. But hey, I'm going to get off here. You all have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine, sunshine if you're in Bowling Green or South Central Kentucky. And uh, remember, keep your chin up, keep working hard, stay positive, and stay safe. All right, thanks for tuning in to uh, Galen's World here in BG. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Say goodbye to Mr. Jude. Mr. Jude. Bye, fella. We'll see you later. All right, I think he wants to get home. It's getting hot. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.